A native of Elmira, New York, and longtime Texan, Eileen Collins began her journey to space by earning an associate's degree in math and science from Corning Community College before earning a BA in mathematics and economics from Syracuse University in 1978. At the same time, she worked a variety of part-time jobs to pay for flying lessons. With dreams of flying high-performance aircraft, she entered the U.S. Air Force and was selected for undergraduate pilot training at Vance Air Force Base. She earned her wings in 1979 and remained at Vance as an instructor for another three years before becoming a C-141 Starlifter pilot and instructor pilot. In 1983, Collins flew missions as a part of the U.S. invasion of Grenada, delivering troops and supplies to the island nation. She next served at the Air Force Academy from 1986 to 1989, where she was a flight instructor in the T-41 and a professor of mathematics. During this period, she also earned a master's degree in operations research from Stanford and a master's degree in space systems management from Webster University. In 1990, Collins became only the second female pilot to graduate from the Air Force Test Pilot School, shortly before she was selected to be an astronaut by NASA. Her flight into space on 1995's mission STS-63 aboard the shuttle Discovery made her the first female space shuttle pilot. For this, she was awarded the Harmon Trophy as the world's outstanding aviatrix. In 1984, she made her second flight as pilot during mission STS-84, and in July 1999, Collins made history again as the first female mission commander on the STS-93 flight to deliver the Chandra X-ray Observatory to orbit. When NASA prepared to return the space shuttle to flight status after the February 2003 Columbia accident, they selected Collins to command the mission, flying Shuttle Discovery on STS-114 in July 2005. During this flight, she flew the orbiter on a 360-degree pitch maneuver to allow inspection of the thermal tiles on the underside by the crew on the space station, the first time this had ever been done. Collins retired from NASA in 2006 and continues to work as an aerospace consultant, corporate and nonprofit board member, and public speaker. She has received numerous awards and honors, including several honorary doctorates and the 2006 National Space Trophy. We are pleased to induct Eileen Collins into the Texas Aviation Hall of Fame. <laughs>